Okay, menaces, time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? She ick. Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees nappies, rotten fish, and ben juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves, and nobody will want us in their classroom. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Ooh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? Oh, 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 What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day, and I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, ooh, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? It. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <laughs> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Men, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Such a tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Any trouble in Beano Town? A trouble-free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. But Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> hold on, wait, wait for me. Where's my badge? Constable Menace and Police Dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? Sorry, take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <laughs> work! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, you strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on, this is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out and my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I have used my own special formula menace glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah, taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey, I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. <sighs> On our way! Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mayor, sir, Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. <laughs> hey, pie face. How's your job going? <laughs> oh, God, it's a lot of work, but... I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper, why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? 
That's not good enough, Slipper. What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh? Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But may a scrimp. Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly. And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. Nash. Calling all units. Calling all units. Come in. Reports of gnomes all over Beetle Town. Let's go. Let's go. Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? Gosh. <laughs> Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No, oh, gnomes, we're being attacked. <laughs> okay, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right, we've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab, the Abyssinian Tripound Lab. <laughs> Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house. Mayor Scrimp? Ah! Uh, oh! Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constables. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! Corporal <laughs> <laughs> Tinkle and Lieutenant Sprout reporting for duty. Do me proud, man. We've got a tracking device on this gnome. <laughs> and Nasha will be able to follow this one. Nasha! <laughs> Time for Operation Oh Gnome You Don't! Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's the bangers in here? Ah, what are you doing, Colonel? We're off surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. <laughs> Where to, Curly? near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those girls! <laughs> Second gear. Third. Yeah, we're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Uh, 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 where are the gnomes? <laughs> Well, there's Sprout. Oh, where's Tinkle? Oh, poo. What's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... These nappies? Rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first.
frog. Fake puke, plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes, go team menace. <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. <laughs> Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Ooh, breadstick. <laughs> oh, breadstick. Oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got a mate with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, <laughs> helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils will benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. Along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Yeah! 9%? <laughs> you are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir, observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's for pizza? <laughs> We're running out of mash. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <coughs> Ooh. 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 One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. Uh, hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, gee, that ball. A family reunion. Forty packs of fish fingers. Fifty large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake. No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! <laughs> Excellent. 
Excellent. Hello? Uh, 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 hello? Uh, Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. What's all this about? <laughs> Half a ton of live lobsters? <laughs> My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket. <laughs> Stuff's full of sugar. Kids go hyper. Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper. Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this. <laughs> Get rid of this stuff. Okay, see ya. Really, I didn't order any of those things. Okay, on that. You get rid of it? Yeah. Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it. Cool. Now, you what? Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we got to do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody got to chill right now or else! <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but... Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now... We just need to... Sorry. All gone. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then there's Mrs. Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean? Next! Great to have you back, Brenda. Welcome to Beano Town's exhibition of brilliant old stuff, ancient artifacts, ancient weaponry, and ancient dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. What? Who? Uh -huh. Ancient dinosaurs. All brilliant old stuff. Like this. Uh, fridge from 
ancient Sweden. Actually, Mayor, that's obviously a sarcophagus from ancient Egypt. <laughs> if you'll indulge me. Oh. Oh. Indulge Walter? Pff, no way. <laughs> As any expert Egyptologist can authenticate, this belongs to fearsome pharaoh Prank and Karma. Rather reminiscent of me, really. Supremely intelligent, highly revered, and utterly fearless. Really, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> A priceless relic, Dennis. This is worth three days' detention at least. <laughs> Spare your scratch. Like a painting dad shed would fix that. Maybe, Dennis. But I fear you may have unleashed an evil menace even greater than yourself. A menace worse than me. <laughs> Good one, Walter. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> Looking sharp, Sergeant. <laughs> Need milk. A little bit of. That's it! Uh oh. Dennis! Dennis! It's for you. He switched my shampoo! He put cranberry jam in my cup! He meddled with my milk! He pranked my pepper! <laughs> They're all brilliant pranks. Ingenious. And I'd love to take credit, but it wasn't me. Yes, <laughs> no, it's true. Dennis has been with us all morning, trying to prove pigs can fly. Then, who was it? It could only be the curse of prank and karma. The, the what? According to ancient prophecies, he who disturbs a pharaoh's rest shall invoke a terrible curse. Yes. <laughs> a curse of bad acting. <laughs> bad luck shall afflict the culprit's entire village for all eternity. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. Got caught up in the moment. We're all doomed. Uh, someone call the police. Oh, wait, I am the police. Quick, someone call me! Says here, he who disturbs my sleep must cook a sacrificial feast for the great prank and God. Sacrificial feast, eh, Walter? Delivered here at nightfall. Better do what he says, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, the nonsense. What a load of potential pranking more like. <laughs> All right, Walter, you're on. If it's a feast you want, it's a feast you'll get. On the menaced up menu tonight, Beef Wellington. Oh, with Wellington boot, Hawaiian pizza. With Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> And Mississippi mud pie with real mud. <laughs> Hope Walter's hungry. Dinner is served. Diners on the move. Bang on time. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Menace. What? Walter, what about the c curse? <laughs> There's no such thing. I was the mastermind behind the curse of prank and karma. Dennis doesn't humiliate me and get away with it. <laughs> uh, uh, this is disgusting. <clears throat> nom, nom, nom. Genius. Where's a straight jumper? <laughs> 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 Pranking works up an appetite. <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> Wait! Pie face! No! <laughs> Genius wears a bow tie. I knew you'd make a disgusting feast, Dennis. Did you really think I'd be fooled? <laughs> <laughs> My tongue tastes like puddle. Right, menaces, game on. Time for us to make the best prank in history. Walter. Walter! Walter! Huh? Oh. It is I, 
But get your fat straight. Good night. Oh, you can't fool Walter. He's an expert orthodontist. Egyptologist, Pathis. Don't worry. We're not finished yet. Walter, beware the curse of the raiding frog. <laughs> oh, hi, Walter. Raining frogs, eh? <gasps> Looks like you've been cursed. Only by you, Dennis. <laughs> Beware the curse <laughs> of the locust plague. <laughs> 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 locusts, eh, Walter? Oh, looks like an ancient curse to me. Buys off, Dennis. <laughs> to spook Walter. What about the curse of the, um... Robot pirate? Uh, no. Killer potato? Um, not quite. What about the curse of the, uh... Dennis, have you seen my hairdryer? Uh, no, Mum! Aha! Mummy! The curse of the mummy! Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We need one big roll of toilet paper. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Dennis! One ancient dinosaur. <laughs> and one know-it-all next-door neighbour. Really, Mayor? You're appointing me to collect the sarcophagus and take it back to the pyramids? Uh, yes, we need an expert Egyptologist. Well, it would be an honour. <laughs> Who's there? Dennis? Is that you? <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Walter, old boy. Just a, a dusty old relic. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> See? Nothing to fear. My slumber! It's the curse of the Franken Karma! Oh, Walter, that mummy is really scary. <laughs> That's the Colonel, Pyphys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant! <laughs> Best prank in history! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Menaces, time to 
time for a day off school. Got the stink stench, Curly? She ick. Essence of cabbage, cauliflower, bees' nappies, rotten fish, and bend juice. <laughs> Let's wear this on ourselves, and nobody will want this neck us round. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Dennis! Oops. Ooh. Finish cleaning Mr. Detester's car. I even cleaned the inside. The inside? Oh, 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 oh. What's going on, Curly? Let's take a kid to work day. I'm going to a games factory. Avatar analyst. And I'm going to the mayor's office for the day. The mayor's office? You want to be mayor? Not me, Paul. He wants to go into politics. He'll be president one day, and I'll be his official pie taster. Headmaster's assistant, yes! <laughs> A whole extra day in school. <laughs> Beano Town Police Department? Me? Daddy! Jet pilot. Sorry, Angel Face, but uh, uh, mm, under the circumstances, we thought you might suit something a little more outdoors. Uh, how about postal officer? What? Good morning, Mr. Postman Girl. Lovely day, isn't it? It. What is that smell? <sighs> What's wrong with you? Oh, just a deadly Amazonian virus. I couldn't possibly go to work. Cough. Ah, ah, oh, disgusting. <clears throat> All better. Enjoy your day. Aha, they've nabbed the little blighter at last. Ben, this calls for a celebration. I'll get the ginger nut biscuits. Sergeant Tinkle, you get the fizzy pop. <laughs> Trouble in Beano Town. A trouble free day is a good day for a police officer, Dennis. This is so boring. Right, Nasha? <laughs> what? Huh? What? No, oh, Dennis, no. There's no dogs allowed here. But Nasha's my police dog, Sergeant. Nasha, Nasha! Calling Sergeant Slipper. We have a situation in Beano Town Park. Roger, on my way. My name's not Roger. Out. Okay, not Roger, out. We're on our ways. Yes! Start the siren! Woohoo! Lesson one. We don't use the noise light unless it's an emergency. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait for me. Where's my badge? Constable Menace and Police Dog Nasha. Nasha! What's the situation? Sorry, take a kid to work day. I got Dennis. <laughs> work! Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, you strange hooded figure, put your hands up! <laughs> it's just a garden gnome. It's not even stuck on properly. Amateur. <laughs> Hold on, this is Mum's gnome. How'd it get here? Hmm. Because you put it here, most likely. Right. Let me just get my pencil out and my pad. OK, where were you in the early hours of the morning, Dennis? No, oh, hang on. No, this wasn't me. I've used my own special formula menace glue. Hmm. It's clear we're dealing with a master prankster. What? It's just gnoming. Gnoming? Yeah, taking gnomes and putting them in funny places. I was doing that before I could walk. Uh... Hey, I always put them back. Urgent call from the mayor's office. Report of a gnome theft. Oh. On our way! Hey! I was going to say that. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mayor, sir. Mayor. That gnome is a scrimp family heirloom. I must get him back. <laughs> hey, pie face. How's the job going? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a lot of work, but... I'm getting through it. Here he is. Oh, that's just Paul. Hey, that's enough of your naughty tricks, mister. No way for a president to behave. Huh? Slipper, why haven't you arrested anyone yet? I have a suspect under surveillance right now. Huh? That's not good enough.
enough slipper. What you need is someone who can get into the mind of a master prankster, who, who can anticipate their every move and keep us one step ahead so that we can catch him. Yes, but who? Who, I say? Whom? Huh? Huh. Huh. Oh, right. I'll need my crack team. But Mayor Scrimp, Dennis can't be trusted. He and his friends are probably responsible. Exactly! And if he didn't do it, he better find out who did. And if he doesn't find out who did it, then he'll get the blame for doing it. <laughs> Nash! Calling all units! Calling all units! Come in! Reports of gnomes all over Beano Town. Let's go! Let's go! Dennis, stop stealing my lines. Hey, are you crossing or not? <laughs> Come in, number 50, Billy. Your time is up. Ah, Walter, why don't I show you how to use the PA system? No, oh, gnomes, we're being attacked. <laughs> okay, Sergeant, let's take a look at the evidence. Right, we've sent soil samples to the lab to trace where the gnomes have come from. It'll take up to three weeks. Nah, we've got our own lab. The Abyssinian Tripound Lab. Do these gnomes match all the missing gnome reports, Curly? Well, it appears so. Dennis's house, Mayor Scrimp. <laughs> oh. Mrs. Miggins, Mrs. Creature, Auntie Beryl. Can you verify that police dog, Nasher? <laughs> Nasher! The whole town's been gnomed. Everyone except the Colonel. But he's got the largest collection of garden gnomes in town. Exactly. Time to pay him a little visit. Yes, I heard the reports on my electric radio. So I ordered my men into the bunker until reinforcements arrived. Seen anyone suspicious lurking around, Colonel? Well, only that hoodlum next door. Wait, that's you. Sergeant, arrest this blatherskite. Ah, oh, sorry, Colonel. The blatherskite's with me. Special constables. So, Colonel, we're going to need two of your most able gnomes. Official police business. Oh, right, yes, of course. Ha! 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 Corporal Tinkle and Lieutenant Sprout reporting for duty. Do me proud. We've got a tracking device on this gnome. <coughs> and Nasha will be able to follow this one. Nasha! Time for Operation Oh Gnome You Don't! Right, everyone, the bait is planted. Stay quiet and still, and the gnome napper will walk straight into our trap. <laughs> Who's the bangers in here? Ah, what are you doing, Colonel? We're on surveillance. Hmm. A medal for supplying rations to a covert operation. <sighs> the gnomes are on the move. <gasps> They've gone to the wheels. Where to, Curly? They're turning left near Mrs. Megan's house. We're about to go fast. Buckle up. And now we saw the road like ground eagles. Follow those gnomes! <laughs> Second gear. Third gear. We're cooking. Oh, uh, is there a cereal bar in the back? It stopped right here. Where are the gnomes? Well, there's Sprout. Well, where's Tinkle? Oh, Pooh, what's that smell? It's like cabbage, cauliflower... These nappies? Rotten fish. And bin juice. <gasps> Angel face! <laughs> well, if it isn't Constable Menace. It was you! Pretty impressive prank, Angel Face. But you're no match for a genius in a striped jumper. You're right, Dennis. You are the master prankster, not me. Ah, uh, Angel Face? You? It can't be! That's right, Sergeant. I did it. I'm flabbergasted. Uh, yes, right then. But it wasn't my fault. It was Dennis. He made me do it. Dennis! Right. Come with me. Nash? I knew it was you all along. I've got a nose for these things, you know. Well, you and your nose are going to have to catch me first. Oh, Dennis! I 
because you think this is funny. Oh, don't be mad, Walter. Your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, as this cress growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh. So, detention this weekend won't bother you, then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once-in-a-lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? Bye-bye. <laughs> Dennis, what are we gonna do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic! I mean, chickens! Who are vampires! They have a squad! I mean, it's the best idea ever! Paul was gonna get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention! We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants! And fast! Who's daddy's little darling then? <laughs> so, Chris, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. How about I give you seeds for both? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you need a hothouse like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favorably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? <laughs> We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee... <coughs> ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more <laughs> raspberry rocket. If this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. <laughs> Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, no. I think this pie is past its best before date. <laughs> If comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> to the hot house! Curly, we can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget your promise to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. Ah, <sighs> uh, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyfees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. <laughs> Let's Results! Results. I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper Chris. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must be the Venus flytrap genes. This is what perfect Chris looks like. Who's ever seen Chris that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big Chris looks like. When they're grown up, Chris heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. 
thing. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Walter. I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on Comic Convention Missing Detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The unusually large and bitey cress. It's got larger and bitier. Ah! <laughs> there may still be a bit more dodging to do. <laughs> I told you it's not a cress. You don't see cress this big and eating things. Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Crest this big and eating things. And that's because uh, this is how fully grown Crest carries on. Kids normally grow Crest for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our crest got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown crest is pies. <laughs> it must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown Cress experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> <laughs> Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. OK, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing! It's a good job we also have national power. Then we can mow it. All this mowing is disturbing my study. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. Oh. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie Face. One problem at a time. <laughs>